Hi, it's Chef Janie Pendleton. We are back in the kitchen where I am working on my daughter's wedding favors. That's right, I'm making wedding favors today. It's a gloomy, rainy day out, and today was a perfect day. I said every time it rained, I was going to work on my daughter's wedding, um, her wedding uh, decor and stuff. So we're doing all the flowers. Now, right now, all I'm doing here is these are key bottle openers right here. And you can see the shape of them. See, they got a nice... And I got these on eBay. They're just a metal key. They got a nice antique finish to them, and they're just a bottle opener, okay? Whether it be a Coke bottle, old-fashioned style Coke bottle, or beer can opener, and, you know, these things, preppers love these kind of things, too. But, yeah, they're just a really pretty uh, bottle opener, and who couldn't use that, right? And then right here, I've just got the ribbons right here, and I've just got the thank you cards that I had uh, made up, and it just says thank you for sharing our special day. Now I'm doing these in cream and a blush pink to match the wedding colors. Okay, so uh, stick with me here and I'm going to show you how I put these together assembly line style because I have to make 120 of these. Alright, we'll be right back. Okay, so what you'll need for this is some hot melt glue gun right here. And I just got this on a piece of newspaper so when it drips, it doesn't drip onto my table or onto my placemats or anything. Uh, nice sharp pair of scissors for cutting the little points off the ribbon here. And some glue sticks, okay? They seem to work better. Now here I've just got the stack of the thank you cards, okay? And I kind of fan them out a little bit. makes it a little bit easier for me to kind of grab them to kind of fan them a little bit here. And then I've cut all of my ribbons, both the pink and the ivory, or the blush and the ivory, I should say in her case. And I cut them all ahead of time to length, okay? So they just get set here. And then here's the, uh, the other one. And I have two different types of ribbon here. Some of them are more of a soft ribbon. And some of these are more of a paper grainy ribbon. This was much cheaper than the softer ribbon, but I thought the softer ribbon laid nicer. Uh, I thought it laid down nicer. See that? Compared to these where they kind of curl up a little bit more. So it just depends what you want. Just be sure and check your style of ribbon. And this ribbon was 5 8 inch by 30 feet long. So 5 8 inch. And it's going to take a couple of rolls to do this, about two rolls of each collar to do the 120 that I have to do. And here I just have my pile of keys sitting here. Again, these are fanned out. And I got my pink ribbons here and my cream ribbons here. And, um, and what I'm doing is I'm putting together the keys here, or the bottle openers here, and then I'm laying them down here to cool. And then when they get done cooling, then I'm putting them separately in here because it's going to be every other collar on the plate. So one person will get the cream, the next person will get the blush, then the cream, then the blush. And there are 10 people sitting per round table. So that will kind of give a nice multicolor. Or you can do it all in one collar. It doesn't matter. All right, so how do we put these together? Very. I'll use the pink so you can see it a little bit better. Very simply, you just grab and make sure you get one ribbon. Make sure you get it on the shiny side out. You pull the ribbon, even with the ends, just like this. And we're just going to cut the little V out, just like that right there. There you go. And then as I fold this down, I'm going to give this a little bit of a pull up so it's, so it's a little uneven right here. You know, you don't want it to be perfectly even or you can't see it. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of a roll up, just like this. Pick up a key, slip a key inside, just like that right there. Pinch it, just like that. Take my glue gun, a little bit of glue so you don't burn yourself, and pinch it closed. So I had it open, put the glue in, and pinched it closed with that hand. See, now it's, it's closed around that key nice and tight so the keys don't fall out. I don't want these keys to fall out. Then I open up the ribbon like this. And give it a, just a little a string of glue there. Down the center of the thank you card. Just like that. Down the center of the thank you card. And on like that. And then, oops, and then there I have 
uh, one thank you card ribbon. You can add a little bit of lace to this if you like. And you can put a little lace on the back of the thank you card and then attach it to the ribbon. I mean, there's several things that you can do here. So you can see what that looks like a little better here. You could lay the whole thing on some lace just like that. See, that's pretty. So if you want to add a little lace, you can. I found that I liked it just like this, although the lace was pretty and everything. I found that it looked a little choppy on the ends, so I decided to leave the lace off and just go with this right here, okay? Now, I set this aside, and when they're dry, then I bring them over here and I put them in the right, the proper stack of every other one. And I keep them separated here in the box. So there's the pink over here and the ivory over here. And I do that so that way when I'm sitting them out on the table, I can grab every other one. But you don't want to put them in the box here while they're hot or else they could stick together. And then that could tear the print off the front of our thank you cards. And we do not, we do not want to do that. And like I said, and by putting that piece of, that little bit of glue in there and pinching that closed, that, that just ensures that um, that I get this so the keys don't fall out. All right, and then we just fill up the box as we go with the, with the ones that have hardened and cooled. Just like that, and turn them around, and then there we go. And I've got to make 120 of these. All right, I'm going to do one more. This is the shiny side. We're going to fold, we're going to cut our V, we're going to run our fingers up like this and pinch it just like that, put the key in just like that, keeping that pinched, we're going to fold that upside down, put a little dab of glue in there and then pinch it closed. Like that, down the center, and on, and again, set aside. And we're just going to keep going like this. Oops, I'm sure we got the sunny side, or I mean the shiny side, not sunny side. The, sh the shiny side of the ribbon out. Roll that up a little bit so that's a little uneven. And there we go. And we're just going to keep going like this. And when I get it done, We'll have some great favors. What we like to see. We'll have some great favors for our wedding guest. And little huskies, they don't help, do you? Somebody woke up from their nap. Lexi got her bath today and she took a nice nap. She brought me her reindeer and her ducky and said, Oh, it's time to go to sleep. And so this could be quite monogamous. It's nice if you have your bridesmaids that come and help, but my daughter lives in Texas, so I'm doing the wedding here by myself. And all of her friends, you know, they're all just fresh out of college as well. And they've all got their jobs or just gotten married themselves. And, and um, so, yeah, I didn't have anybody to help me. So I'm just kind of doing this on the rainy days. Now, if you feel like this one, like a key is loose in there and it can come out, then what you do is you just kind of tip this back just a little bit, stick the nose of this in there, and then squeeze it down. There you go. And that'll keep that key from falling out. We don't want to lose these keys and have to be putting all the keys back in because we've only got two hours, maybe even three hours prior to the wedding to decorate prior to the actual wedding. And uh, we can't go in the day before. So every last detail that I can get done for this wedding, it's a, it's a, bar, it's a barn venue wedding. So every last detail that I can get done now that I don't want to have to do at the actual barn, then I have to do that because um, 
or else I'll be setting up, you know, I can't be making flowers and favors, you know, the day of. And I just had an extra tag on it. There we go. Okay, and that's it. And when you're done, you have these beautiful wedding favors, okay? So I hope you've enjoyed how to make wedding favors, the key bottle opener style wedding favors. Um, just laying these across the plate, I think, for the guest. You know, either this way or, you know, or this way. Um, you could even take some blank tags like this right here. And you could take and you could uh, stamp, you know, do your stamping and you know, do gold or the color of your wedding, red or purple, whatever, and you could stamp your name and the date of your wedding on the back of this. Or you could put the name of the family on here and you could do the table number and you could have these hanging up and these could be the table numbers for the guest. And they would get they would grab their bottle opener favor, their key off the board, and it would say like table six, um, uh, like Dardini. So it would say like the Dardini family or something on here. So, um, you know, or the Pendleton family, you know. So, um, so if you want to be real accurate and you got table numbers, then these right here would make great table numbers to hang on the board. Okay? So that's another way that you could use these. So these are just some ideas and they're just um, simple to make. Uh, they're very, they make for a nice presentation. And it's a useful favor and I think that's important as well. All right, so when we come back, I'm going to show you how I actually made um, my daughter's perfume favors, okay? So be sure and stay tuned. Be sure and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot going on for the wedding. We have our new RV, and I've been reupholstering the sofa and the club chair for that. Um, we just have a lot going on. It's gardening season, and believe it or not, I've been so busy, I'd never put out a garden this year. Um, I never thought I'd hear myself say that, but um, I was just, I've just been way too busy and it just keeps storming and I just can't get out to do it. Um, I think I'm going to miss my open window here to do it if I don't, um, yeah, I just have a lot going on. I'm, I'm sure those of you who've had their children get married and you've had to plan a wedding by yourself, I'm sure you understand that I just don't have time for everything, but this does bring us some new videos. Some new and unique videos that I wouldn't have uh, done before had the wedding not taken place. So, um, uh, to answer some of your questions, yes, the wedding is getting catered as far as food goes. I will not be doing anything more than the candy bar. And I'm doing, a, oops, 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 I got newspaper on there. Not, not, not good. That can just rub right off. See if that happens. I just got a little bit of glue on that newspaper and it's stuck. This is why you don't want to put it in the box. I don't like that. There we go. There we go. I fixed it. <laughs> I just rubbed right off with the thumbnail. All right. Um, the way I'm doing the candy bar. What else are we doing, Lexi? What else are we doing, huh, girl? We're doing that. We're doing all the flowers. Um, all the favors. Oh, seed favors. I did the seed favors, which is seed packets of wildflowers. You know, I'll have to show that to you as well. Yep, just a lot going on. I like to, I like to give gifts, so I think giving giving people thing. I think that's fun. So um, anyway, you help my little chore here go a little faster. I appreciate you coming along for the ride. Um, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And we'd love to have you. We, you can head on over to Maranatha Minutes. Just type in Maranatha Minutes, and you can start along with us on our Bible study. Um, we have all kinds of things, don't we, John, going on? Yes. And we'll be doing more traveling this year since we got the motor home. So we look forward to bringing that to you as well. Um, leave us a note below and let us know your favorite place that you would like to have us visit, that you would like to see us visit. You know, someplace fun for the older couple that uh, will be taking along a husky. It has to be pet friendly because our husky is, is going with us. So if you know of a Midwest um, RV park that you really enjoyed and you thought that was clean and very well taken care of, that had a lot to do, um, 
I golf. My husband doesn't golf, but I'm sure he would love to learn or to come along on the golf cart. I'm sure he'd, he's game for just about anything. So, okay, so that is it. Say goodbye, Lexi. Say goodbye. Blessings.